Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a fishing rod holder for your kayak. So several years ago, I was in the hardware store and I noticed they were selling kayaks. Now, I don't know why they were selling kayaks in a hardware store, but they were. So I bought one because, you know, hardware store. It's just a basic little kayak, nothing fancy, but it turned out to be an awesome way to fish in the mountain lakes of British Columbia. However, I did have a bit of a problem. I like to fish by trolling, which is where I paddle along slowly and the lure follows behind. It's a very peaceful and relaxing way to fish, but the problem is your paddles tend to flail around a lot. This is normal. It became very apparent that I need a better way to hold a fishing rod while paddling. So I decided I needed to get a fishing rod holder. So I looked around, um, there wasn't a lot available for sale, they all tend to hold your rod straight up, so I decided I'll make my own. And I've been using it for over 10 years now. And here it is. Um, you can see that it mounts this way. There's a slot at the top and your fishing rod goes in and then the weight of the reel holds it in place sort of like a bolt action rifle and until you lift it it stays in. Here it is in action holding my rod for me. Now kayaks are not all the same so this may not work exactly on your particular boat. Um, the main thing is that it holds the rod in a convenient position where you can reach it, but it's out of the way of your flailing paddles. So perhaps this video will give you some ideas or inspiration for a, an idea that will fit your boat. To build this thing, here's what you're going to need to get from the hardware store. And by the way, I'm not plugging any particular hardware store. Let's just say this one happens to rhyme with Rome Jeepo. I put a list in the description so you don't need to write this down, but here's just a quick overview of the parts you're going to need. You will need one piece of one and a half inch ABS plastic pipe, one piece of one and a half inch wide aluminum bar, a nine inch piece of one by four wood, three three sixteenths inch bolts, three quarter inches long, a five eighths inch carriage bolt with washer and wing nut, two five sixteenths inch bolts with washers and nuts, and just to make it all look nice, some flat black spray paint. I also decided to improve the design a little bit. Don't worry, you won't have to follow that. I'll keep it nice and simple. So the next step will be to cut the inch and a half ABS pipe down to a 15 inch piece. And I will use a hacksaw for that. I have now cut the inch and a half ABS pipe down to 15 inches long. So my next step will be to cut the slot where the fishing rod is going to go in. So let's cut it. Let's try this. Um, okay, we're going to use a saw. This is the end of the tube where the fishing rod is going to go. So I'm going to measure back four inches from the end and make a mark and then three inches back. So we're going to make a one inch wide slot right there with the hacksaw. And I'm going to cut there we are. I want a one inch slot. So from there to there. Remember Super accuracy isn't a big deal here. We just want this to hold our fishing rod. This extra stuff. And there we have our slot. So the fishing rod will go in like this and then flop over. Whether you're left-handed or right-handed depends on which way you've mounted it in the boat. And there we have. Here is our one and a half inch aluminum bar. I'm going to cut it down to ten and a half inches long. So here is our ten and a half inch aluminum bar. The first thing I'm going to do is measure the places I'm going to bend it. So the first mark is at two inches, and then four and a half inches past that. Six and a half, and then another three inches. Nine and a half. So we'll just mark those. This is where I'll put it in the vise and actually bend the aluminum bar. And so, next up, I'm going to measure the center, which is at three quarters of an inch, because this is an inch and a half wide. Three quarters. And then we'll draw a line all the way down the center. And these lines will be covered up afterwards because I'm going to paint everything. Oops, got a finger in there. There we go. So there's our center line. So up here at the two inch end there's going to be a couple of holes and I'm just going to put them a little bit offset. 
So this center section, this is the base, it's four and a half inches, so two and a quarter is dead center. And I'm gonna go one inch for a pilot hole, and then one inch on the other side as well. And then at this end, there's gonna be one little hole, put it right in there, at the halfway point. So now we have our nine inch piece of one by four. Well, first thing I'm gonna do, is find the center line at one and three quarter inches because it's three and a half inches wide. And draw a quick line down there. So the holes at the ends are going to be one inch in. So there's going to be one right there. And there's going to be another one right there. And then the center hole will be at four and a half inches right there. Okay, first up, I'm going to drill the quarter inch holes, and these are the holes that will mount the bracket onto the tube. One hole here. Slightly offset, so they make it a bit stronger. There. Okay, I've changed bits now to a 5 8 inch bit. The center. Okay, now I've switched to a 3 8 inch bit and I'm going to drill the two little pilot holes right here and right here. Okay, let's drill some holes. Alright, so there we have our bracket all marked for bending and with the mounting holes in it. Okay, now it's time for our piece of 1x4. First thing I'm going to do is countersink the mounting holes at each end just slightly because the washers are going to sit into that. So we'll start with this one. About like that. The other one in. There we are. Now, the reason for that countersinking is because the washers will fit into the holes like that and it'll look nice. Now, I can drill the actual holes. Now I've switched to my 5 8 inch bit. I can drill the center mounting hole now. So now I <clears throat> just need to drill one more little hole. So I'm going to use the aluminum bar as a template so I know where to drill. I'm just using a little 1 8 inch bit for this. So there we have it. Everything's all drilled and ready to go. I got my lines marked out. Let's bend this thing. Okay. <clears throat> it's hammering time. <laughs> Start bending this into shape. So my first little bend I'm going to make right at the end. This is a 1 inch piece. All right, get it clamped in nice and tight. Let's get the hammer. All right. Now, an important thing is to remember to bend things the right way. This now has to bend towards me, the opposite direction from the bend I just made. Okay, we're part way there. Now this has to be angled in more and this has to be angled back this way more. So now after lots of hammering and banging, I've basically got it bent into the shape I want. Now I'm going to use the bracket as a template and mark the mounting holes. Drill this. So let's drill those holes. There, those are our one quarter inch mounting holes. Okay, I've now got the bracket on with the one quarter inch bolts. Now, if you're wondering how I managed to get the bolts inside like that, you just take your wrench, a little bit of duct tape, 
and stick the bolt in like so you can put it up inside the tube so you're probably wondering what that pilot hole stuff was all about it was a little extra hole we made right here well, i'm going to put plain ordinary little deck screw into there then eye protection i'm going to cut that off with a dremel Now sure, I could use a hacksaw to do that, but I like the sparks. So now that we have that, what's the point? When the unit is mounted, that little hole is gonna keep the whole thing from swiveling once we have it mounted in the center, of course. Now, before I mount this on the boat, I'm gonna paint it. I um, just need to paint the wood block first, really, but I'm gonna do the whole thing here. And I painted a nice shade of flat black, because. That looks nice. It gives it a real nice uniform color. Okay, time to mount the wood block onto the boat. So we got it all nice and painted here. So I'm gonna line it up about here. So this is the same kayak as my yellow one. So I know that right here I can lean forward and reach. Now if you're doing this on your kayak, you definitely want to make sure that you can reach without getting up because there's no getting up walking around in a kayak. Well, without going swimming. <laughs> so I got my 3 8 drill bit. And I'm just going to drill through those little marks I made. There's a one. Okay. Okay, so here's the mounting board. I've got the, the bolts, the mounting bolts through it. Now I'm going to put in our center bolt. Now this is a carriage bolt, so the top has got a little bit of a square part on it. What I'm going to do is screw this down tight, and that will actually help seat the bolt, seating the carriage bolt underneath. Okay, so let's put it through the holes. There we are, on the boat. A couple more washers, a couple more nuts, and we'll put it all together. and snug. So now I've got the completed rod holder here all set to go. Let's put it on make sure it fits into the pilot hole that will keep this whole thing from twisting around. And I'll just put this wing on. There. We are. And tight. And there we have it. Rod holder is mounted. Ready to go. There. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going fishing.